What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we will be discussing some of the changes made to the DJI Phantom 4 Pro in the latest firmware update. This update, version 01.05.0300, was pushed out on December 25th, 2017, and is 87.8 megabytes in size to download. Here's a list of the changes implemented in this firmware update. You can pause the video to read over them, but now, let's go over these in a bit more depth. Other than a few small improvements, the biggest change in this update is the addition of the panoramic shooting modes that was originally only available for the Spark and Mavic Pro. Now we finally have the option to take panoramic photos on the Phantom 4 Pro, which I'm super stoked about because of the 20 megapixel camera. To access these modes, head into the camera settings, choose the second tab marked by the camera icon, select the photo option, and then look for pano at the bottom. The options that we have are sphere, 180, vertical, and horizontal, and now we will do a quick test of each. Each. First up is Sphere, which takes a total of 34 individual pictures and stitches them together. This is the same amount as the Mavic, but it's a little bit different on the Spark, which takes 46 individual pictures. Something I noticed throughout all of the panoramas that I captured was a weird lag during the process. You can see it happening here, like the video feed is a huge blur. Now I'm not sure if this is an issue for everyone when taking a panorama on the Phantom 4 Pro, or if I just had a bad signal, because this never happened with the Mavic or Spark. I would definitely like to hear your guys' feedback down in the comment section below. Aside from these image transmission problems, I've got to say that the speed in which the Phantom 4 Pro takes these panoramas is really impressive. I'm not sure if it's because of the more powerful motors or maybe a tweak in the software, but it moves through the process significantly quicker than the other drones. Now once the picture has been taken, we can view the photo by clicking on the play button in the bottom right corner. You'll have to wait again for the pictures to stitch together, but once that process has been completed, we have full range to look all the way around the photo, moving from a little planet to a true 360 view. I've got to say that the quality of this panorama looks incredible. The detail that you are able to capture is far superior to the Mavic and Spark, and it's noticeable even when viewing this within the DJI GO app. Now if I could give you one tip when taking sphere panoramas, it would be to take the photo at a high altitude. If you take one closer to the ground, you get this weird blur at the top, considering the drone's camera cannot point straight up. Plus, a 360 photo from the sky just looks dope. Next is 180, which takes a total of 21 individual pictures and stitches them together to give you an incredibly wide field of view. If you find yourself in a tight area where you can't capture everything in just one shot, this really does open a lot of possibilities, especially when looking at a large landscape. Just like the sphere panorama, we can click on the play button in the bottom right corner to view our finished project. After letting the photo stitch, we get some really incredible results, and the cool thing about this is when you export the photo to save it to your device, it comes out looking really smooth and ready to share. While it certainly isn't as cool as a full 360 panorama, I think that this might be the most useful. Just a little tip when lining up your 180 panoramic shot, where you press the shutter button to initiate the photo will be the center, so the drone will essentially capture that middle frame and everything around it. Hopefully that makes just a little bit of sense. Next is vertical, which takes a total of three individual pictures, so really, it doesn't take any time at all. The Mavic has an option to take portrait photos, but this feature is not available on the Phantom 4 Pro. Now, with vertical panoramas added, we can, in a sense, take high-quality portrait photos with our Phantom 4 Pro. Just like the other modes, we are able to view and export our finished project by tapping the play button in the bottom right corner. Finally, we have Horizontal, which takes a total of 9 individual pictures. This essentially is just a smaller version of the 180 pano mode, as you won't be able to fit as much into this smaller field of view. With the 180 pano mode, I noticed that sometimes the edges can get a little distorted, so if you want to avoid that and focus on a specific subject, then Horizontal is probably the one that you want to choose. Again, I figured I would mention that if you want to view and export the stitched picture, we need to click on the play button in the bottom right corner. But guys, that wraps up this quick video taking a look at the newest firmware for the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Be sure to go over and check out my Instagram as I will be posting my panorama pictures as I take them. My username is just at BillyKyle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace!